Libra, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, and Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers. Go on to your own daggone channel. I love you. <laughs> Libra, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Libra, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, each and every one, for your support of the channel. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk. Libra, your grind is so strong right now. I'm literally trying to get through your work ethic to the core of your energy. And it's just, right now, you just grind, 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 grind. Heavy Eight of Pentacles is here. King of Pentacles is here. So you're working on something that will work, okay? And continue working for you and your family. Um, but that's, that's just how I feel coming into your energy. It's, you know... I, I tell you one thing, the grind that you have right now, if you drop this ball, it'll be a while before you can pick it back up. So work the heck out of it. And I mean that, okay? The, the, those that have been struggling in the past, not now, but if you've been struggling with uh, like stagnancy, um, laziness, depression, you know, where it was interfering with your work. And I know you're working through that now, but this needs to be, uh, how can I say that? Like the last time has to be the last time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because going forward, the grind is going to keep going, but your blessings are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You know what I mean? So the fruit that's coming in for you, you're going to look at it as fruit of your labor. And it really is going to be fruit of the spirit. It's going to be the fruit of abundance. <clears throat> it's like um, you, you keep, I don't know, making snowballs and at different levels of the hill you're going to catch them at different levels. Like the more you grind, the more you go to the bottom, the bigger the snowball gets by the time it gets to you. You know what I mean? So I love this energy. I love the grind. But right now, your bank account said where, who, what, huh? <laughs> I'm with you, Leaves. Ooh, Libra, please. We're pulling from the wisdom of the Oracle because... Yep, yeah, you're blessed. That's just it. You're blessed. To be honest, you're not in a cardboard box on the corner. There's your money right there, Treasure Island. I told you it's right there. Um, you're not in a cardboard box on the corner. You have a beautiful blessing coming in. Some of you, <clears throat> excuse me, Libra, I love you. Let me say that first. You know I love you. I'm a Libra. <sighs> Some of you Libras are getting a blessing because another Libra didn't bless you when they got their blessing. So you're going to be blessed in front of that Libra. Okay? Yeah. The thing about it is the energy that's coming in is abundant. If you catch this energy in a low vibration and frequency, it's going to drag. If you catch it in high vibration and frequency, it's going to keep giving. Whatever frequency that you're in, is, it's going to keep giving. Whatever, I, I don't know what's going on. Like in this, I just feel like these next few weeks are going to determine like the next six months. That's how I feel in this energy. And you know I'm not an astrologist, so you guys got to check with somebody else about the stars and the moons and the houses of the fourth spectrum. And, and and wait a minute, I learned something new today. With a helium, 
five or something. So, I, you know, I mean, I don't know about that. What I feel is it's like you're setting yourself up for at least the next six months. So it's important to recognize your blessings, be a blessing and um, grind, man. Get that grind on. Yeah, you're changing. You know, you're trying to like get out of the funk. But it's hard to get out of the funk when you always seem like you have to fake the funk. You know what I'm saying? So I get that part. But you have to be honest about your part you played. And you got to be honest about the situation that you're really in. Now, granted, I am speaking to you from very low bank account. <laughs> so believe me, I get it. But at the same time, I'm not where I was. You know, I feel so good today. I feel just overjoyed today. You know, I bless God today for you and for me. You know, um, I just know I'm in a better place. So that alone is a blessing. Don't discount feelings, emotions, your mental health, your physical health. Y'all losing weight. Everybody, you know, losing weight. Come on. Let's, I mean, you are getting ready to network, all right? I know you guys have been hearing your name is in this room, your name is in that room. That's absolutely true. You're about to network, okay? Somebody is going to be completely devastated when you start networking because they thought they were going to have a spot that you're going to take. And they've been in that room already. So it's kind of like, somebody is already smooching, you know, kissing up and all that and Libra, but they're talking about you, you know? So you're going to actually get the opportunity and they're going to be like, not only did I not get the position or did I get this connection, but I got kicked to the curb on top of it by Libra. And it's literally because of your birthright divine, um, feminine coming in with the yin, okay? It's literally because of your birthright, the abundance of your birthright, period, period, point blank, all right? Um, I'm going to say it might feel like you're out of your element, but you're going to be exactly where you need to be to be happy, to be treated well, you know, to be honored, respected. Yeah. Got a little work coming in after that too, but that's all right. You know, Leibs, I'll tell you, I, we may have a birthright of a luxurious life, but we ain't scared of no work now. Let's just call the spade the spade. Okay. We ain't scared. I think I want star spinners. Yeah. We're gonna do star spinner for the spread today. Oh, okay. But the treasure island that you have coming in right here, it, it literally is like within the next week, within the next week. So hopefully, you know, that can come in so you can catch up the rent or take care of the bills or whatever it is you need to do. But in the mean and in between time, you know, assume it's done and you're working on the next month. You know, just keep the grind continuous. Let me have the core for Libra. Nine of Wands coming in. Re Ooh, okay. Go ahead then. Nine of Wands coming in reverse, and I have a King of Cups. Hmm. Now, Libra, you know I don't like no hijack, and I definitely don't like how that card was just smacked out my damn hand. So since this mother lover want to talk so bad, let's talk about it. This is somebody who is extremely... delusional okay absolutely mother loving delusional somebody actually thinks that you 
don't have a clue of what you're doing in your life, what you want in life, where you stand in life, how to live your life. And they think that they, you need their love to protect you, to lead you, to guide you, okay? The problem is that they the one scared. Hello? How you talking heavy and you scared? <laughs> yeah. Moon energy, scared to death, all right? They, because they, they can't figure out what you doing? Matter of fact, why are you even so quiet? What you waiting on? Because they already know what's best for you. So why are you looking for what's best for you? You understand? Victory and success is behind there because you're going to overcome this daggone devil energy that's just trying to keep you in bondage. But now that we've said all that, let's get you a daggone deck. I don't like nobody hijacking my damn cards. Ooh, that bothers me. Now, if it come out again, Libra, we're going to run with it. But, you know, I don't like to start no reading for nobody with they. Whenever I hear that, that just, it's, it just rubs me the wrong way. The heck you, how you starting my reading with they? The heck is that? Next day, talk about me. Okay. Is it me, Libra? Let me know. You know, I'm just saying. And I ain't slighting nobody's work. You know, but unless you have a channel for cross watches, I listen to the read and I ain't gonna lie, I'll be listening. But when they start with they, it do, it just gets under my skin. It almost hit me like a, a scratching on a chalkboard. I'll be like, oh my God. <laughs> Can I have Libra? What's at the core? Thank you so much. That King of Pentacles, you're grinding. I told you, you're grinding, baby. Grinding working on your future it's just coming in slow but it's gonna it's gonna speed up see you what you're working the foundation that you're working on right now it, it might not seem like it but it is gonna be so secure that it will hold the blood you understand what I'm saying that's the kind of foundation you're working on in spirit Okay, now physically, you're working, of course, to create generational wealth or make sure the family is good or make sure your home life is good. Basically, your future is good, whatever the case is. It's just starting out slow. That turtle, turtle with hemorrhoids is right there, but there's your happy life right behind it. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not concerned or worried in no way, shape, or form. It's just that. You know, sometimes the Lord will like test your faith, and you be like, I no, Lord, take your time. Yeah, you know, I'm waiting on you. No, it's it, whenever you're ready. You, you, you Go ahead, take your time. you checking your watch. <laughs> Ground this energy, please, for Libra. Please and thank you. Page of Wands, you're doing it. Figuring it out. And uh, walking on faith. That. that it, you're already doing all of this. So if you need a little extra, pull down from it, okay? The Page of Wands is the action. The Seven of Pentacles is the discernment because you ain't trying to waste no time, energy, effort, and especially money, not right now, on things that are not immediately, you know, um, detrimental to your daily care. You understand what I'm saying? And you are moving by faith. You're trying to follow divine guidance. What you do, what if you might not know what's ahead of you, but darn it, you ain't going backwards. I tell you that. That's where you at with that, with that fool energy, Aries, Aquarian, and Scorpio kick, mother loving rocks. You understand me? This is a Scorpio, Libra. If you have a Scorpio, this thing is on me like a humping dog right now. I am not kidding, and that don't make no sense at all. What's working against, <laughs> if this is a Scorpio, it's the Eight of Pentacles. You said, I, wait, wait, what's the meme? I don't want to go to work. <laughs> no care, don't try my hand, don't. I didn't see what I need to see. I don't want to see no more. <laughs> My stomach. Libra, you tired. I love you, baby. I know you tired. I'm tired too, but I'm here with you. <sighs> What's working against you? 
if you're not focused on your craft and you focus on other stuff, that is working against you. If you're just saying, listen, I, I, I have already worked. I, to, to, my blood tells me, that's what you're saying here. My blood tells me the royalty of my blood, the abundance of my father has told me that I don't have to work. And I know it because I've seen it. He's made that very clear. So I don't understand why I'm caught up in the foolishness of this earthly realm where that requires for me to be physical when I'm a spiritual being. <laughs> I'm laughing, Libra, but I know that's what you see. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yep. Son to the lovers. Yeah. You know, when you're, when you're, trying to do your best when you're trying to do your best let's say it like that okay when you're trying to do your best sometimes it is disheartening and discouraging especially when you feel like number one your best isn't appreciated or there's not enough fruit for the labor you're putting out or you're doing what you know that you're not going to be doing once your blessing comes in you know so if you have a mindset like listen i'm gonna do this work today because i got to pay my my bills but as soon as I hit the jackpot, I'm out of here. <laughs> then you're focusing on being out. And even when you're present, you're not there. Okay. So keep in mind that every day, every step, every encounter, good, bad, and indifferent is part of your, your journey. Okay. It's part of your journey. So if you're there at that job or with that place or at that whatever school you know, it's where you're supposed to be right now for the moment. So you have to focus on focus on the, the professor of the class in the front of the class so you can get the lesson instead of watching the clock to see when the bell is going to ring. You know what I mean? Where's this coming from? The strength and the six of cups. Yeah. Libra, you've been tired for a minute. You didn't call your crew. You you, you called your angels. You, you said, listen, I, I need help because I'm tired. And you got it. You did. You got a little jolt. You didn't had a little jolt for a little more than a week now. You got a little jolt. You got a little pep in your step. You're suppressing whatever's trying to keep you from operating at your highest um, level. Yup. Your, your time management improved. You're handling what needs to be handled. But... You're doing this because you've embodied this king's energy. You've embodied the earth, you know? You see there's no swords here at all. Not one sword, okay? Because you know you're going to try to hold on as best you can because you know once that air energy returns, you're going to probably plop on the sofa, plop in the bed and take a nap because you're tired. Oh, where are we going with this, Philippe? Look at that. Would you? I told the Libra, what? Unga bunga. Okay? You know. You know this is passion. This is focus. This is movement. This is fertile energy. All right? Abundance. Okay? Birthing life changing events. Some of you have new love coming in. I have to mention that. Okay? Some of you, your abundance is like your dream. The up. Here it is egg or knight of cups uh some of you do have love coming in for sure um this mother lover here is pissing me off i don't know if it's a fire sign because it don't matter to me fire sign that you think is a devil or a scorpio that you think is just <sighs> delusional pick one they so stressed out they don't know what to do you see how this energy just flipped over that's all right we got your spread done i'll tell you that it's rules and regulations up in this mother lover. Yeah, but they so stressed out, they don't know what to do. To be honest, uh, they're, they're receiving karma, which is your dharma coming in, your blessings coming in. Because they, yeah. So, um, you know, rest easy knowing that, yeah, it happened, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. The stagnant energy that you feel is stagnant is not. But there is going to be a, a faster pace coming in with what's been hard for you, you know, once you can settle all this foolishness, okay? You might also get a message that uh, 
Somebody's been trying to reach you. Ho, ho. Somebody's been, no, somebody's scared to reach out to you. Oh, what kind of foolishness? See, I ain't got time for this. Libra, we ain't got time for that. I, you know, somebody want to talk, but they scared. So they going to have somebody else call you to say uh, such and such want to talk to you, but they scared. The, really? How old are we? I'm just saying. We're closing chapters, okay? We're closing books, closing cycles with the world. We're traveling, moving, okay? You're open to do new things. You got a new therapist? Nice. Some of you have a new therapist. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like the new therapist, okay? Um, others of you, like I said, somebody wants to return and work it out. They're going to be met with your sword, and then you're going to go ahead about your business. It's up to you how you handle that. The bottom lines is they're not they're not offering much. Where you at, Libra? You're going to look at this and say, "Oh, that's cute." It's like an apple for the teacher, you know. It's it's cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. The sun to the lovers. I like that. This is clear and clean and precise um, direction. So if you were ever wondering, where am I going? What am I doing? Where am I going to end up? This is very clear. You're still going to have to make the choice, but nothing is going to be hidden. You know what I mean? Nothing is going to be hidden with that information there. Um, Yeah, Libra, you know, I love you, but you know, you know how I say sometimes you guys don't know how to um, love others and love yourself at the same time. Okay, so just think of that same energy when it comes down to you staying focused and how can I say this? Staying focused and on task and out of that Libra la la land, you know, at the same time. It's like you have a dreamland that gets you through work, which I respect. Hello. But at the same time, you're getting through work and it's not, it's, it's reactivating your cuckoo. Like, I don't know if you're getting heightened abilities or something. My temples are throbbing when I'm looking at this energy. So I feel like my cuckoo, this feels to me like when I first, let me, I don't know how to say that. When I, um, hmm. I don't even know how to explain it when, but it, it seems to me like a spiritual thing or a gift thing that you're trying to learn how to control. It's like, you can't like somebody that can't close their third eye. So you start to get headaches because you can't close it. You just keep taking in and taking in and taking in and taking in like there's confusion on like, as soon as you get focus, it's like you lose the focus. Huh? All right, thank you for the clarity. Okay. See, God knows. He knows what you need. Yeah, you do. You may have gifts, abilities, or you're coming into some type of healing. But what it, what the star energy, it's it's a limelight energy. It's, it's an energy of being recognized. You know what I mean? And I think that that's what you're coming into. You're going to be recognized. To be honest, I think that you're going to be recognized heavily. And it's going to hurt you that certain people aren't there to share the spotlight with you, but it's not theirs. See, that divine clarity and communication is coming in to tell you that you were supposed to be selfish with this. It's all for you, okay? You can go celebrate later, but this is all for you, all right? Love is kicking the heck out of you, Libra, energetically. <laughs> It's like Libra, come, come back, come back. <laughs> Love then fell off the Titanic. 
<laughs> Some of you, you do have a great connection. I love the Queen and King of Cups. You know, there's the mother and father of loves. What I don't like is the death in the middle. And I wouldn't mind it if this heifer wasn't sitting here behind this king. You understand what I'm saying? So there, there is a transition in relationships. If you're in a, a healthy relationship or in a relationship period, you do have a change coming. Okay, some of you, you have this change coming because your partner is being influenced by somebody else. Maybe a mother, maybe a third party, maybe even an ex that's doing some kind of mojo. You know, that's been going around for Libras too. Either way, you don't want no part of the foolishness. You're calling judgment on that and you're expecting for God to be God because that's who he is. That's How can God be anything for anybody else? All right. It's almost as if as soon as you surrender all of this and say, take it from here, I'm done. It's, it's all, you're going to be gifted, rewarded for that surrender. Okay. You're going to be rewarded. And then all you're going to get is news about how this person been through this, how this person been through that, how this person is struggling. You know, that is going to seem like, um, a win for you, but to be honest, what it is, is a release for you, you know, uh, to be set free, you know, finally from all the foolishness that was tied to that bond. I am loving, I love the earth energy for you right now. I have to say that I love this energy for you. Um, just be careful. Like I said, I know once the air comes in, don't self-sabotage. I told you, once you come back into air, you're going to plop on the couch. You're going to plop in the bed and take a nap. Get your work done. All right, boss up. Boss up. Get back into, you. look at this. That's a power couple right there. Come on. Do not sabotage this. Do not sabotage this. So keep grinding. This right here ain't nothing to play with at all. I love it. I love it. I love it. For some of you, I need to clarify Capricorn. Yeah, let me just do that and then I'll let you guys go. Because <sighs> this mother lover been talking in the back, but since I already dealt with Scorpio, I didn't want to give nobody else no extra time, but I'm about sick of this hijacked energy. Hold on. Um, Capricorn, where are you? Capricorn feels like family. There you are. Uh, we're going to use Nefertari and just clarify this devil energy. It feels like somebody in your family. It feels like your growth or movement is going to change the dynamic of the family. And to be honest, this is like somebody that's saying, I don't care if you stay or leave, but you, um, leave your house or leave your car or leave your child. You, you understand what I'm saying? Keep, keep, keep your paycheck direct deposit in my account. Are you crazy? Like this mother lover, these, the audacity. God darn, what is going on, Libra? Is it me? Because I'm about pissed. To, to, I'm almost at pissivity. I'm definitely pissed. All right, but come on. Come on, Capricorn, what you got? If you're going to say it, say it with your chest. Temperance. Sagittarian energy, which is midway, which is an energy of giving. Yeah, they want you to get... They want you... You say Somebody must have asked in your family that is toxic or that always needs you, that's always needy. Because devil energy, you can't think of like a man with horns. Nick's what that picture is. You want to think of bondage. This is the most important part. The two people at the bottom that um, are bound to each other. See, lovers... In, I wish I had it out. Lovers energy, you'll see an angel above two people making a choice devil energy is over two people that have the illusion of choice but they're stuck no to one another no matter what they choose you understand what i'm saying so this temperance angel is coming in and i know they need something i like the temperance um i like this angel checking um oh i gotta calm down checking this energy 
because the temperance angel is an assisting energy but i think that this capricorn needs assistance so i'm gonna double down on this clarify clarify the capricorn and i have the emperor it's control bottom line this is just somebody that wants control because you're a high priestess that's it that is sick you are no part in, in no way shape or form is this energy of uh, any kind of holiness because it's bondage you know but you want to control somebody that's blessed but that's why people be getting the weapons they don't even understand you're meant for the world yeah <laughs> you know what i ain't even going down that road libra listen scorpio and capricorn can kick rocks okay i know you feel like aries too leo too you know all that i'm not going down that line okay we're not going down that road <sighs> congratulations on those that are finding love Congratulations that are for those that are having their financial breakthrough, okay? Um, definitely, um, I'm waiting for mine too. All we can do is keep grinding, keep pushing. You know, what you need will be provided. What you need will be, you're already blessed. Now you got favor coming in. You know what I'm saying? You're blessed now, okay? But now you got favor coming in. They about to be big mad. I, I, are you kidding me? This is just ugh, nasty. I can't even, you couldn't even have a reading by yourself. They just want to be a part of every doggone thing because you've completely removed your energy, Libra. And this is panic, okay? All right. Now, if any event, you said green eyes, I don't know about this one. It was all over the place. I don't blame you, baby. I really don't. Check your moon. Check your rising. Um, don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's absolutely free, and it does support the channel. If you're interested in a personal appointment, email me at perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. If you enjoy the content, okay, and you want to sow a seed, donation information is below the video. And guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.